Christian, man. What can I say, man? You know what I mean? Much, yeah, I had to come down and see what's going on, really? man. I saw your Brain Records uh, jacket. Oh, you got one as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm going to sort you out one. Okay. I, 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 I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You've got to give me a contract, man. Tell, me what, tell the people what's happening. Give the people a little free talk, man. So, I did announce it. Today, sorry, real quick. Today, Clash Mouth Record Fair. House of Vans, London, Record Store Day. Very, very important, supporting British Vinyl, supporting British Jungle, the only and biggest drum and bass vinyl market in the world. Don't forget, great yes, Records crew, forever. <laughs> Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, back once again with another video. And today I wanted to do a video about uh, Clashmouth. Um, not totally about Clashmouth, but just about some of the stuff I got down uh, uh, over there in uh, over there at Clashmouth. Uh, I had a wicked haul over there, people. Um, and uh, some of the guys, um, I just want to show you some of the stuff that I got. Uh, there were some real cool bits and pieces over there. So much stuff. I mean, if you're an avid vinyl collector and you know you you definitely want some exclusives down there. I saw everything from like one of uh, one of 20 records available color vinyl uh some really amazing looking merchandise by a lot of the drum and bass labels there man and i've got to say you know big up to everybody um who's made a like an extra effort to go down there and just like you know uh express their their labels express their their music and their merchandise and you know it's good to see that artists out there are now kind of seeing more collectability in what they're doing and and you know all right fair enough it, there's only one of 20 but like and, and people are selling it for 80 or 30 or 40 quid a piece but that's helping the artist to go towards their pressing and imagine what those vinyls are worth in 10 years time if you can buy a vinyl right that's a, a rare press yeah for a fiver and then 10 15 years later it's worth 150 quid on the second hand market Imagine what some of those exclusive ones would be worth, man. Like, you know, if you're talking 10 times, you could be talking like 800 quid in the future. Uh, but then again, you know, with the price of the currency dropping and stuff, 800 quid might be like 80 quid. Who knows? Comment down below. Let me know your views on that, people. But, you know, I love to see artists out there, be, you know, getting credit where due and, uh, you know, earning a crust if, you know, to help them with their, with their production costs. Because these things cost a lot of money. If you don't sell enough, uh, you know, you obviously don't make back the cost and this is what what the vicious circle where stuff ends up not getting put on vinyl so if you're a vinyl collector out there i suggest that you know you support this cause and help these artists do what they've got to do so tell, tell us about this high-tech looking store you've got here so this is just for our vinyl so if you see our vinyls you can listen to on here just as simple as that really you know, I'm going to start off with the books, man. I'll say big up to Billy Daniel Bunker. He gave me his Love Dove Generation book, you know, about his lifestyle and everything, man. And, you know, uh, you know, he's, he always people say he, he uh, looks like Elton John, man. And I'm sure there's probably something in there to do with that. I'm going to check it out. Uh, there's another one here that says how to squander your potential. Christopher Howell. Uh, this fake sticker makes you make this makes this book important. Uh, the Smarties and Night Force story. Night Force Records. For those of you who don't need no introduction. Smarties. Uh, Smarties. Are the guys. Are the guys who done Sesame Street. I believe back in the day, man. So you know this is all. It's all some incredible stories. Probably some rags to riches in there. I would imagine, and you know how they made it. Uh, then you've got Uncle Doug's book here that says uh, Rave Diaries. Tower Block Tales. Really interesting. Uh, looking like it's based around pirate radio etc and these books are really nice man really really well made and uh, there's pictures inside uh, there we go another one Mark Archer that's the story of the guys from Alternate had the pleasure of meeting these guys uh, wicked and then you've got the DJ Raps book here it says uh, Intelligent Woman uh, her life story uh, uh, again there um, Lots of cool stuff out there, and this, this is just only a little portion, you know, a couple of people sorted me out. So guys, after doing this video, yeah, and halfway through editing it, I realised there's another record bag which I took down there. I took one of the Brain record bags down there. That they're showing off my Brain record bag. I actually realised that there's some more bits and pieces. Uh, I got hold of a copy of the Homicide EP. Now this Homicide EP, yeah, this goes back to the days of the dungeons. And I remember we used to spin this down the dungeons, man. And this is uh, a classic. We met the guy from 
uh, one of the guys from this uh, from from this 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 record label, and it was nuts, man. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. You have got chaps on there like Move Move Ya, Dream Cycle, Hitchin Side. It's got Hertford, Hertford Side, Hertford Side, Hitchin Side, uh, here and now. And look, lovely man. Also, uh, got a mixed CD here. Yeah, it's called Digging Deep uh, from Billy Daniel Bunter. Uh, it's got the DJ Honai on there. Big up DJ Honai. How's it going, mate? And also, shout out to the man like Lavery. He's on here as well doing a mix. I'm going to be checking that out. We've got a double release. Is this double release? No, it's not double release. Sorry, my bad. Uh, this is called Puffy Billy. Puffy Billy, Hardcore Madness, Mickey and Ecstasy. Track there. Nice uh, record. And also... K Roll 01 Lavery, there I go. Uh, Lavery EP, it's got an EP on there. I'm going to be checking it out. So, yeah, man, got some nice little bits from the Clash Mouth there that I just wanted to add in. Uh, what I'm showing you guys, show you what's got, what I've got in my bag here at the moment. I've got a Twisted Mentasm uh, t shirt direct to garment one that I had it sitting around in there. Okay, I took that down with there with me, but I didn't give it away to anyone. Uh, and then I have a uh, Junglist uh, XL Junglist. T-shirt, Jungle's 95 T-shirt. Comment down below. I'm gonna pick a random winner up for this one of these T-shirts down in the description down below. J Magic gave me his new album on USB. I don't even know if this is coming out on you know anytime soon or whatever the case may be. But look, look how these guys are putting in their the efforts, man. Look at this thing, man. It's flipping a metal USB. It's got the infrared logo on it. I don't know if you could see that, man. Focus properly. And it's just sick, look. Do you know what I mean? That's just dope, man. Look at that. Wicked. And it's in a nice sponge box. SpongeBob SquarePants. There's a nice box. I met J Magic up there. You know, big him up for that. Look, you can even put it around your neck. It's got, uh, you know, you could probably put a little la lanyard. It's got a little la lanyard clip on the top, man. And this is this is the business. Uh, you know, it's, you can see the cover. It says J Magic on there. It's got the names of his tunes. Uh, Serenity, Hold You, Mirrodin, Red Moon, Escape from Lan from Lando, Point of the Return, uh, The Crew Knows, or The Crow Knows, sorry. Code Breaker, Full Circle, and eclipse man cool yeah yeah it's been really good it's just uh, madness to begin with i mean the uh massive crowds but these things are always really good oh sorry when it's earlier it gets more it's even more busy earlier on is it yeah i mean a lot of people after the top of very stuff yeah okay great and that went really well yeah Okay, so on here now, we've got Deep Jungle Records. As you know, they've got tons and tons of records out now. Deep Jungle, as you can see it there. Look okay, here, this is uh, DJ Nut Nuts tune. Uh, back in the days, uh, you can do it. You can see it again, pressed on some lovely vinyl there. Uh, well presented. There's another Deep Jungle 12 here, look, that I picked up. Uh, Dillinger. This is a Dillinger track, just says Dillinger on it, man. Boy, you know what I'm saying? That's probably a rare piece of Dillinger there. And uh, as far as I know, these are coming from, and uh, some of this is some of your exclusive stuff that these guys are pressing up, man, as far as I know. And look, there's a te technical itch. Uh, 12 here. You've got a, uh, what's this one? This is a Babylon Crew 12 here, Babylon Crew. On that one, you've got Press Up. I believe these are all available online as well. And there's a Simon Baseline Twiff, uh, Twiff, Simon Baseline Smith track here. It says Girls Midnight, oh yeah. So as you can see, uh, you know, pretty cool haulage there, peeps. Uh, that's all I've got, man. But if you um, look out for the Clash Mouth video, because I'm going to show you tons of other stuff down there. I've got footage of all of these bits and bobs, and I've got some exclusive interviews coming your way. Uh, we've got an interview from, um, I'm, a, I'm not even going to call no names, man. man. Just, just watch this channel. Subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Smash the like button if you want to see that video on the Clash Mouth, and I'll race ahead and get that done. So, guys, that's it. A quick little insight into my uh, Clash Mouth haul. Hope you enjoyed it. My name's Busy B. Sai. I'm on the pioneers of jungle drum and bass. Take care, God bless, peace.
then he put this in front of it, now that he's So with the label, these buckles at me, because I've got a label that you need to start to go May 20th to May 27th. Nearly a thousand old kids. I'm our everyday jungle list.